This is Emily's first ever hill start. Now, I have avoided hills so far because we're in Colchester and we have the luxury of having some areas where there aren't hills. And it's easier to learn how the gas and the clutch make the car act if there's no hills acting as another dimension to confuse you. Mm. So that's why we've avoided them so far. But obviously, if you're learning in a hilly area, then you may have to do hill starts very early on at the beginning. Right, so how do you feel about this? I'm a bit worried, but I also kind of trust in you that you're not going to let me just go flying backwards into the posts over there. Okay, well, rolling back is going to help you. Right. It is. It's going to help you learn how the hill affects the car. So I don't know how the hill affects the car. and make get the car go backwards. I know, but if you panic from that, what often happens is you press the gas really hard. I'm saying you learner drivers, press the gas really hard, rev the engine, damage the clutch, smell of burning, because you think, oh, I'm going back, go, go, go. You try pressing the gas to go. Mm. So rolling back a little bit will actually, if you're relaxed about it, will give you a chance to learn how the hill affects the car and how you can control the hill. Right, okay. Now, your dad said something, didn't he, before you left? What did he say? Your handbrake's your best friend. That's right, yes, the handbrake is the most basic, easiest way to do a hill start. And that's what we're gonna start with. We will do some other things to help you learn the hill, but the first thing is gonna be the handbrake start. So if you were to take that handbrake off right now, don't. If you were, what would happen? Roll backwards if I didn't put the brake on. Good, in fact, I will, just to show you. There's no one behind. Yeah. So it is a hill. It's not the steepest of hills. I don't want a really steep hill yet, because it'll be really difficult. Still so it will roll back pretty quickly, as in you take it off, it's starting to roll back straight away and it's definitely rolling back. It's not going to shoot back fast though. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to get some power to the wheels before you take the handbrake off. Right. When you normally move away, you take the brake off and you just come off the brake, gas and lift clutch. But if you do that now, whilst you're coming off the brake to press gas and lift clutch, the car's going to be going that way. Right. So if you leave the handbrake on, add some gas, lift the clutch till you feel the bite point. The car now wants to move forwards, but it's not because the brake is on, and then take the handbrake off. And then you go forwards. Okay. Do you want to try? Yeah. So Seems I'll talk doable. you through it. I'll talk you through it. Just follow my lead here. Okay. We're going to play with the bite point first. So clutch down first gear, get some gas. There we go. And find the bite point. Don't want to move, just find it. There. Brilliant. You see, this is why I like learning hill starts a bit later if you can, because you've already got that skill. Clutch down, and when you're holding it there, that's going to be heating the clutch up. So you don't want to hold it there too long. Once you're there, do your checks, your observations, and if it's clear, handbrake off and move. Don't stay on the bike point longer than you need to, because it gets hot, and when the clutch gets hot, that's when it starts to burn out. So yeah. Do that again, so gas, and find the bike point. There. Oh, you hear that noise? Yeah. Clutch down. What do you think? Oh, in there. What do you think that noise was? Getting hot. No, nope, that's the handbrake. Oh. So the handbrake works on the rear wheels. It's not very strong, and you actually move the car slightly there with the handbrake on, and that's where the brake sort of creaked a bit. This time, I want you to get gas and bite point, but you're going to lift the clutch up a bit higher this time, and the car, you'll see the car will move with the handbrake on. Just a little bit, just so it rolls forward a tiny bit, and then you push clutch back down again. So a bit of gas, a bit more, lift the clutch up, a bit higher, a bit higher. There you go, clutch down. You see? Yeah, so then you know you've, noise. you've definitely lifted the clutch up too high. If that happens, you know, oh, I'm moving with the handbrake on, it's possible. You're not going to be confused, you understand that. Yeah. It's because your clutch is up high enough that the car will move. You can drive with the handbrake on, it will drive. Yes. It's a bit worrying. Uh, it's not good, but it's certainly enough power to drive with the handbrake on. Okay. So, I want you to do three times gas and clutch. Get the clutch to the bite point, but not so much that the car tries to move. Ready? Okay. Steady. Go. That's one. Clutch down. Off the gas. Two. Try again. Too high. Too high. Oops. Try it on again. Oh, I'll get a good rev. That's two, clutch down. If it's a if it's a success, if I could say it right. If it's a successful one, I count it. If okay. it's, you've got to do it three times successfully. And again. Yeah, 
Yeah. No, I don't, I don't count that. It was too slow, it's taking you too long, and you didn't have enough because you were slow, and then you had too much as well. Mm. That time you stalled because you come all the way off the clutch. I know, my leg was hurting. Try again, one more time. Try and get that third time, and then you can rest. I'll give you that one. So okay. into neutral and you can rest your leg. So that time you, you did it well, mm. but then you got to hold it because you lifted it even more. Once you get that bite point, hold it. Do you notice the back of the car is dipping down? I don't right. Really, yeah, I suppose for a look at it, yeah. You notice it? I'll do it so you can see. Watch. If you get the bite point, watch what happens. For that? Oh, yeah. Yeah? And that's because it's a front-wheel drive car. So the front wheels are trying to pull us forwards, but the handbrake's on the back wheels, so it's trying to pull itself forwards, which is why it does that. So the suspension um, getting compressed and so the car moving. Ooh. So the next thing you need to do is do that, then look round and take the handbrake off. Okay. And it'll move forwards. We won't go far, we'll just move and then we'll stop. Okay. You ready? Yeah. If you roll back, don't panic. Okay. Let it roll back and let me tell you what to do. Okay. If it rolls back, if anything, it'll help you learn even more. I'll make sure it's safe. I'll keep us safe. Okay. So, go on in. Gas and bite point, hand on the handbrake ready. Only take it off after your observations if it's safe. What about this car? Maybe keep the clutch down until they're gone. Okay, now there's no one coming, find the bite point. Have a look round, blind spot. Okay, handbrake off and keep your feet still when your hand breaks off. Right, don't worry, clutch up higher, hold it, there we go, see? Now clutch down, and the car will roll to a stop, now brake to stop it rolling back. Brake harder, now there's a cyclist coming up behind, we won't roll back. So, what do you need to do if you wanna come off the pedals now? That allows you to come off the, yeah, that's good. You might wanna lift the handbrake up another click, Oh no, if, if you can't, don't worry. First click on this, on, on this car, the first click will hold you most places, but on really steep hills, you need two clicks. Not all cars are like that. Some cars, the first click does nothing at all. But this one, the first click is on hard. Okay. Two clicks is really hard. I can't lift it up that high. Yeah, it doesn't go much higher than that. Uh, you have to be quite strong. I think you can. You can lift it high. I've seen you do it before. I've seen, it. You, I've seen you do three clicks. It depends on how you're feeling. If you're feeling a little bit stressed, that handbrake goes up quite a bit higher. And then when you calm down, relax, you can't take it off because you lifted it too high. The adrenaline you want, too yeah, you want that adrenaline going through. It gives you that power. I'm not scared right now. Though, so, it's okay. so when you took the handbrake off, what happened? We. Oui. And how do we resolve that? Brake. Or just add a bit more. It's <laughs> lifting the clutch up more, isn't it? Yeah. What you don't want to do is panic and press the gas hard. Okay. It's the number one problem, I would say the number one mistake that learners make when they roll back on the hill, loads of gas. I don't want you to panic, I want you to lift that clutch a bit more. Okay. So the reason why it rolled back, which is important to know, mm -hmm. why did it roll back? Why didn't we go forwards? I said when you take the handbrake off, we'll go forwards, but it didn't. I didn't have enough revs, or didn't nope. lift it high enough? Clutch needed to be higher. So when you got the clutch to the bite point, you got the bite point, I can't see your feet very well down there, but I think you pushed the clutch back down a little bit when you took uh, the handbrake off. Right. And I think it took you a bit of time to get the handbrake off as well from memory, and your foot moved a bit. Mm. So once you get the gas and the bite point, try and keep it steady. Handbrake off. Do you want to try again? Again, we won't go far forwards, we just move and stop. I'll wait for her to go away. On the bike, I'm scared. I don't, I don't want her to go into the road. I'm... By the time you're ready, she'll be gone. Okay. Only find the bite point if there's no one coming though. Don't sit on the bite point waiting for cars. Okay. So you have, have the car ready in gear, cover the gas, but gas and bite point when there's no cars. Is she ready? We need the car. We should be fine. We're only going to move a tiny Anna, bit. All right. See? Okay. I'm just, I knew it was coming around the corner. You're delaying. No, I'm not. So gas, bite point, try and find that bite point. Where is it? Feel it? There, now look round and handbrake off. On handbrake off, and this time, see, we're going forwards, aren't we? Yeah. Good, hold your feet steady. Good, now clutch down, and it will slow down. It will roll back a little bit. Now brake to stop it rolling back. Brake harder, good. I was gonna let you roll back there and get you to play with the clutch, but as cars started coming up behind, I thought best just to stop. Okay. Right, so handbrake up to come off the foot brake. 
and neutral to come off the yeah, um, three there. Three clips. So neutral. Yeah. I said neutral to come off the neutral <laughs> neutral to come off the clutch. Yeah. Is what I was trying to say. Um, that's because your foot brake was on hard. When your foot brakes on hard, this becomes loose. Oh, okay. So that's a handy tip, actually. If I lift this as hard as I can now, mm. can you take that off? Oh, okay, you actually can. I wasn't expecting you'd be able to do that. <laughs> so. That's from me going to the gym all the time. Let's pretend you can't take it off. Try taking it off. You can't do oh, it. No, no, you're not strong enough, are you? No. Right, now push the brake really hard. Now take it off. See? So it's easier. So if the handbrake's on too high and you can't take it off, what you want to do is push the brake hard, then lower it a little bit okay. so that when you want to take it off, it's easier to take off. In fact, mm -hmm. I would lower that a little bit because if you're not on the foot brake, I think you'll struggle to have it that high. It's a bit mean. Just put it one or two clicks up. Yeah, that'll do. You come off the foot brake now and that'll hold the car. Crap my leg. Okay, so the next thing is, I'm going to reverse us back a little bit, see what the time is on the camera. Good. I'm going to reverse us back a little bit mm -hmm. and I'm going to hopefully get you to have a little bit of a play with the clutch on the hill so you can really start to feel how the hill makes the car move. Right. So you learn that the clutch does the work, not the gas. Not the gas. It's the clutch. Don't press down the gas. We're going to try and roll forwards, pause, roll forwards, pause, roll forwards, pause without using the brake. Okay. And we will probably roll back in the process. I'm trying to get a good starting position. If it becomes unsafe because of the traffic around us, we will have to stop. Okay. This is going to be bad for the clutch, so I don't recommend doing this in your own car, but I will sacrifice my clutch to help you learn. Let's go. Okay, you ready? So yeah. follow my lead. We're going to move, and then what we're going to do is going to clutch down, the car will roll to a stop, mm -hmm. but then as it stops, you've got a gas and lift clutch on the bike point again to stop it rolling back and to either roll forwards or stay still. Hopefully, you'll be able to get the car stationary without using the brakes. Okie dokie. I might even help you by moving the clutch slightly to show you how it's done. Okay. Go on in, so that's it, clutch down, first gear. It's getting a bit busy, isn't it? It's that time of day, it's probably not it's the best time. time. Quarter past yeah. eight. So a bit of gas, a bit of bite point, that's it. Anyone coming? No. Nice spot. Handbrake off, then I think this will probably roll back. We'll see. So, how, oh, okay, you've corrected it now. We're still rolling back a little bit. Okay, good. Now, clutch down and the car will slow. Now, gas and lift clutch up before it rolls back. See? See what I mean? Clutch down. And now, gas and clutch and try and hold the car steady. Try and find the bite point height where the car doesn't move forwards or backwards. Clutch down, let it slow. Bit of gas, lift the clutch higher. There. Now, I'm just going to push him in a tiny bit. He says there's a point where the car doesn't move. Yeah. So you can actually balance it. You lift it up a little bit and wait, mm -hmm. and it will move. Actually, you hold it steady now, because the car coming up behind. So just hold it there for a moment. Okay. Good. So up a little bit, and it moves. Down a little bit, and be patient. Wait for the car to react to your foot. Down a bit more. There you go. It was a bit too much. It's going to roll back. Up. Hold. And play with it now. Down a little bit more. And wait. See it slowing down? That's good. If you go too low, it will slow down and roll back. And now clutch down and stop to let the uh, brake now to let the clutch cool down. So, handbrake up. How many clicks? Doesn't matter, one or two. Oh, I did. Be no, fine. I did. Basically, when it's firm. When it's firm. In most cars, lift it till it's firm, then let go. Okay. In this car, one or two clicks is just a good guide. So, you notice how that was working there? Yeah. When you're lifting the clutch up, it was moving. But when you push the clutch down, just slowing down then I'll just start rolling backwards. Yeah. Now this is what most people find difficult and you may find this difficult as well is trying to keep the car still on the hill. You don't want to do it for long but it's really handy if you're maybe getting to the end of the road uphill and you've got to pause for literally like a second or two before you can get going. It saves you doing a handbrake start because if you do it for a couple of seconds it's not going to cause any harm. What you need to change and what you need to learn, this is a skill and it takes time, you won't probably learn it today, okay. is to be patient. So when you lift the clutch up, you'll feel the car, you feel the bite point, and you've got to wait and see what happens. If you keep lifting up until you see it moving, you're going to move. 
Yeah. More importantly though, is when you're trying to slow down. Yeah. You've got to push the clutch down gradually now. This is where it will really help you. As you're pushing it down, when the car starts to slow down, stop pushing it down. Stop pushing it down anymore. And the car will continue to slow down. It might stop and then roll back or it might stop and stay still. Okay. If you keep pushing it down more after it started to slow down, you're definitely going to have the clutch too low and it's going to roll back. Right. Generally speaking, when you're lifting it up, it's the very beginning of the bite point that you're going to want. The moment you feel a little bit of it, it's not going to take much bite point to stop it rolling back. It does depend on the hill though. I have to be very kind of... You have to take your time with it. Yeah. Patient. Yeah. So I think we're going to practice this and uh, we'll get back to you. Part two of my lesson where I'm doing really well. I wish I never turned the cameras off because we had another go and Emily did it. She kept the car still twice using the gas and the clutch. What did you do that helped you? I just did it. Well, you said... Uh, like, I did explain something. When I said that, you, you then did it. Didn't you, you said, oh, just say a little bit more, a little bit less. Like that. And I was like, okay. It was oh, and then, the, oh, put your heel on the ground. That helped as well. Yeah. Because when you're moving the clutch up and down a large amount, you don't really want your heel on the ground because the, the pedal's going to slip, slip under your foot. Um, but once you've got your pedal steady, putting your heel on the ground can stabilise your foot if you're able to, if your feet are big enough. Not everyone can do that. Oh, lovely. Um, but where you actually had success was after I said, don't press the clutch down quickly, press it down slowly until you see the car start to slow or feel the car start to slow and hold oh, it steady okay. and wait yeah. and see what happens. And quite often when you do that, the car roll and then stop. It might roll back a tiny bit and then you lift a tiny bit until it starts slowing down, then wait. So it's not about trying to lift it until you stop or push it down until you stop. It's about lifting it until you're rolling back less yeah. or pushing it down until you're slowing down rolling forwards and then wait for it to happen. Otherwise, you're always chasing your tail. You're like too that. much. Up, oh, now I'm going forwards, down, now I'm rolling back. So you've got to wait for it to actually take effect. It takes some time. Mm. And that's where you did it twice. Do you reckon you can do it again? Probably. Let's try. I can try. Well, the camera makes me nervous though, so I don't know. It's not fair when the camera's on. I'm like, oh. Give it your best shot. Do you need me to talk to you? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay. You make me less nervous. With this bit, do you, do you want me to help you here? Gas and bite point then. Anyone coming? Blind spot? That we're fine. Handbrake off then. And the car will start to roll forwards, you see? Now push it in ever so small, obviously don't hit the kerb, until it starts slowing down. So push it in slowly until it starts slowing down and then wait. Okay, now wait, it's slowing down, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is it going to stop? Keep your feet steady. That's Look right. at that! Hands on the wheel, keep your hands on the wheel. Now, a bit more gas because it is struggling a bit and move forward slightly by lifting the clutch. Wait, let it take effect. Is your heel on the ground? Are you stable? Mm -hmm. Now push the top of the pedal and just in gradually, when I say top of your pedal, move the top of your foot down a little bit, let it slow, and it's slowing down. I think this one will roll back, we'll see. Yeah, so lift it a tiny bit. There we go, down a tiny, tiny bit and wait. A little bit more until it starts slowing. When it starts slowing, hold it steady. It's not slowing yet. Now it's slowing, hold it steady. And it's gonna slow to a stop. Bit more power, bit more power, that's it. Try and stop again, one more time. The hill's getting steeper now. Keep the gas on, the gas won't make any difference. That's just available power, clutch is using that power. You can have loads of gas. The Done again. <laughs> All right, now, handbrake up and then clutch down. There we go. Oh, I can put it into. Yeah. So that can actually help you sometimes. If you're on a hill and you just want to pause briefly, you can do that and then carry on without having to do the whole hill start again. Yeah. The next hill start I want you to learn, hill hold assist. Learners struggle with this one. The handbrake's the easiest method. Hill hold assist is much more powerful. Okay. It's more convenient. If you're an experienced driver, it's easier and it's faster. Hill hold okay. assist use all four wheels. Uses all four wheels, brakes all four wheels. You've got four tires gripping the ground and it's hydraulic. Handbrake's just a cable on the back wheels. Mm. So I trust hill hold assist more on the steepest hills than I do the handbrake. 
because I know it will keep me there. It's powerful, and then I gas and lift clutch. So I'm going to bring you back, and we're going to try that. You said people will struggle on this bit. I did it. Struggle. Yeah, you did. Everyone has their everyone has their talents. You see, my talents are heels. Until we do this bit, then we'll end up flying backwards. Again. Sorry, Richard. You've always been good with the pedals. You're quite good with the pedals. I think your mind is often more on the pedals than it is on your direction. And you notice I take the wheel quite a lot. Yeah, my steering's not great. And it's not because you can't steer. You can steer. Why do you think I take the wheel quite a bit? Because I can't steer. Because you don't focus on steering. I am that. That's the problem. You don't focus on where you're going. You're getting better at it. But I can tell the steering issue is because you're thinking about something else. You're thinking about your gear, you're thinking about your pedals, you're thinking about those people. What you're learning at the moment is you're lear what you're gradually learning is when you're driving, the most important thing you're doing is this, is where My you're position. going. You've got very little variance on position before you're in trouble. You go a little bit left, you hit the curb, you go a little bit right, you hit an oncoming car. Mm. You've got a big variance in speed. You can be 10 miles an hour, you can be 30 miles an hour and you haven't had a crash. Yeah. That's why your position when you're driving should be your main focus. Your position keeps you in the space and your speed gets you there. So it's like, oh, it's dangerous, let's go slower. So speed helps you stay safe. Oh, okay. It's, un it's unsafe, that looks dodgy, slow down. Oh, it's clear and open, speed up. But the difference in your position is often you don't have much choice. Yeah. You have your half of the road, there's oncoming cars, you've got to stay in your half but you have a big choice when it comes to speed. Anyway, I'm waffling now. Let's try heel hold assist. Okay. And for this, you literally just need to go gas and lift clutch and it'll move forwards. Okay. But if you do it too slowly, the car will roll back. If you do it too quickly, then you'll stall. Right, I can do it. I think you can do it. Your normal, for what you've developed on us driving on the flat, your normal way of doing it you're getting to the level now where it'll work for you. The way it works in this car is when you come off the brake, it holds the brakes for two seconds before it lets go. Right. Um, so I have two seconds to go with them? No. <laughs> because the moment you press the gas, it also releases the brake. Because right. if you, you don't want to be trying to move with the brakes on. Mm -hmm. So the moment the engine, well, the moment the car knows you're on the gas, it's like release brake because you're trying to move forwards. So if you press gas and the lift clutch up later, you're rolling back. Same time. You've got to do them together. Yeah. Easy. Now you could say, well, lift clutch up first and then add gas, but this car still won't release the brake until either two seconds or you press the gas, even if you lift the clutch. So what can happen is you're lifting the clutch up, trying to move with the brakes on and the car stalls. I'm confusing you now, aren't I? Mm, no, a little bit. So your brake is on. Yeah. You lift the clutch up to the bike point, your brake is still on, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And now the car's trying to move with the brake on. And that's why it stalls. Ah, okay. Some cars give you more help than others. This car doesn't give you much help. And even when you come off that brake, it still won't move in this car until you press the gas or two seconds have gone. Because okay. that's when the brakes release. It's either two seconds of off brake or press gas. That's when the brakes will release. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try? Yeah. So let's see if you can do it first time. Probably not first time, maybe like third, fourth, I'll say. So do what you normally do on a flat, clutch down, first gear, foot on the foot brake, handbrake off. Even if you're successful with this and you find it easy, I'm gonna want you to do handbrake starts for a lot of your hill starts. Okay. Because it's an important skill to have. I, mm. I want you to do both, so you don't learn both skills, but the hand, we don't wanna ignore this skill. Okay. Because if you drive a car without this system, without heel hold assist, or with a manual handbrake, you're going to need to know how to do this. Okay. So I want you to have this skill. So when it's safe, once you've checked your blind spot, just don't panic, don't rush. Just gas and lift clutch. Okay. Together. Together. Yeah. There's an oncoming car, so if you were to move away with the oncoming car, make sure you right. signal. Oh, wait for them to go. Okay. I'll let them go first. I like the road to myself. Okay. Oh, no, don't signal now. Oh, well, because they're coming in. Yeah, but you're telling them to wait for you. Oh. And you're playing around, messing about doing hill starts. 
<laughs> so do I have to wait for just definitely wait for the cars behind because we're not we're not driving even if they wait behind you we want them past us because we're we're practicing here oh, okay. you can go you can do it with the oncoming cars we're not affecting the oncoming cars but it's good to let them know so they don't come into our half of the road now check your blind spot again so I'm ready as well yep okay go on gas and bite point there we go clutch down and stop you did it yeah make sure you brake hard enough that we don't roll back it worked didn't it it yeah. did roll back a tiny bit it felt like it rolled back it was ever so small though Try again, it did work for you. So, and then gas and bite point. Indicate right, and clutch down and stop. So it does work, doesn't it? Yeah. It is rolling back a tiny bit, just because your clutch has come up a little bit late. If your clutch comes up a bit earlier, as you're adding the gas, mm. you won't roll back at all. I want to cancel that signal once we do stop, sorry. I missed that myself. Oh, yeah, make sure our signal's not misleading. Okay. Uh, I try to, but also you try to as well. So any oncoming cars, tell them we're moving away so they don't come into our half of the road. They know we're about to move. And uh, cars behind, obviously, we'll wait for them. Mm. But signal when you're actually going to move. Okay. Not when you're thinking about it. So you're going to try again? Yeah. Go this on is in. fun. I like it. This time we'll go up to the second lamppost and stop at the second lamppost. So not this first one, the concrete one. See that one? Yeah. Because that's the steeper part of the hill. Okay. And we'll try it on there. That's alright. Anyone come in? No. You sure? No. Okay, That's why well. the final check is so important. Your blind spot should never be your last check. Always go back to here. I'm not saying that's not what you're going to do. I'm just, I'm just okay. emphasising that's why it's important. This should be your last check. I know what you're doing. You reset the mirror and you see it dipped when I reversed. Yeah, I can still see, but I couldn't see well. Yeah, it's a good like, idea to do that. A bit worried. So oh. signals to the car in front. Do your pedals. There we go, it didn't roll back at all that time. Cancel the signal now, so we don't forget it like we did last time. We'll go up to this lamppost, come off the gas now, indicate left for the car behind, don't press any pedals. See what happens. Is the car stopping? No. That'll no, keep going, doesn't it? Now clutch down, and now the hill will stop you. Don't brake yet, don't brake yet. And then it rolls back, doesn't it? So brake, just to show you that, it will stop, the hill will stop yeah. you, but then it will roll you back. So make sure you brake just before it stops. Okay. But try and let the hill do a lot of the slowing down when you're slow. Otherwise you stop too early and you don't have time to line up with the curb. Okay. So this is the steepest part of the hill. This time we're gonna move away. And it's actually, this is gonna be real now. Cause you see the car in front has had yeah. to stop on the hill or nearly stop to wait yeah. for the oncoming car. You may have to do that as well because we've got that Citroen parked at the brow of the hill. You can't see beyond that hill. No. So as you approach that Citroen, that grey car, you need to be ready to wait and give way to oncoming cars. And this is where your hill start skill will work for you. So, do you want to do handbrake start or hill hold assist? Hill hold assist, it's fun. Yeah? I enjoy it more. If you do hill hold assist now, it will be handbrake start next time. I like them, yeah. I'll yeah, do we're doing now. it. I'll do this one now, I like it. Okay. It's more fun. So, ready? You just go, vroom. Yeah. Anyone come in? Gas and bike point, and we should get going. Oh, oh no, oh, swearing now. <laughs> Brake, break. There we go. So, this is a steeper part of the hill, isn't it? So yeah. Now, what happened there? The engine's restarted. Yeah. What happened? I did it normally, and then it just wasn't having it. You didn't give enough power. Right. And your clutch did come up higher than before. Okay. And I think it's because it's a steeper hill, you're trying a bit too hard. Remember, the once the car starts rolling, mm -hmm. hold your feet steady. Also okay. what happened there is the car started going back and I think that made you lift the clutch even more, more than needed. It needed a okay. tiny bit more. Um, so this is, this is a lot harder. I'll give you one more go. No, I want to do the handbrake one now. No, no, no. Oh. Let's practice Richard. it, let's practice it. We'll do Richard. one more go on the hill hold assist. If it's not working on this level of hill, yeah. we will reserve it for later okay. and use the handbrake start, which is the easier method on this hill. Okay. But try not to rush. If the car rolls back a tiny bit, try not to panic. You ready? Ignore that, yeah. Wait until it's clear, relax. Not relax, so I don't- Gas and lift clutch, don't rush. Or actually try and do them together now. Driving gives me great eyes. Now? Yeah. So much better. See? Look at that. Because you didn't panic, did you? Mm, the no. car rolled back a tiny bit there, but you didn't panic. You still took your time. Now, a bit more to the right, so it looks like you want to go past. 
cover the clutch just in case. Can you go? Yeah. Okay, carry on then. Shame that we didn't have to stop there. Probably should have got you to stop just as a dummy. Now drive past the car and check your mirrors to come back to your half of the road. Probably a bad idea for me to get you to stop as a dummy because then if someone comes up behind then they get confused and they as a car is now approaching from behind i was really hoping to have an oncoming car there make sure we are a good distance from the curb we're almost going to hit those little things sticking out from the curb to help someone on the drive and then check your mirrors go around the car and now start braking gently because we're going to take the next road on the right after this bend so mirrors signal right avoid the curb that's it into second it's just after the bend this road, so you need to be ready by the time we finish the bend. Clutch the bite point, rev match, still brake, still keep the brake. Clutch up fully, brake more. And now stop, clutch down and stop. Yeah, we don't want to go into that side road there. I don't know why you went into that road on the left. Why. So first gear, we'll wait here now. And when there's no oncoming cars, you can turn into that road on the right. It's your car fully now. Can't tell left and right apparently. So you ready? Yeah. So look into that road as you turn. Make sure you turn. Look up the road to help you straighten. A bit early there. So I stopped the wheel just for briefly. Oh, do you want me to park Keep there? going, stay in, stay in a good position. Don't go near the curb. And we're gonna try and stop before this car that's parked at the side of the road, before that lamppost. So cover the clutch, but don't press it. Stay on the gas, because when you're uphill, the car is gonna slow down very quickly. So mirror signal left for the car behind that's approaching the other way. Now clutch down and the car will slow down. Gas and lift clutch to move forwards. There you go, and you can line up a bit better with the curb. See, and then move forwards a bit more again. See, that way you can adjust where you stop and then clutch down and now stop, now we're here. So it's very important when, you, when you're stopping uphill to realize the car's gonna slow down a lot earlier. Mm -hmm. Cancel the ticker. Therefore, you're not going to want to come off the gas and brake like you normally do. You've got to use that hill. If you ignore the hill, the hill will hurt you. If you listen to the hill, the hill will help you. Okay. So at the moment, use the hill to help you slow down. And then as it slows you down, you, if you're in gear, get first gear, then you can be ready to add gas and lift clutch to adjust your position and line up with the curb. You actually lined up with, with the curb pretty well back there. I just want you to move forwards more to practice. Is that your tummy rumbling? Yeah, I didn't have time for breakfast. No breakfast. Now we're going to do the handbrake start. We did the uh, heel hold assist start last time. Mm -hmm. Handbrake starts easier, but we have, what's that? Nice VW in front. Couldn't have asked for that myself. It, well, you know, that's very well timed. I'm glad they're there, because now I'm you've got to move away with a car directly in front of you. Last time the car was further up the hill, this time you've got to keep the car under control as you steer around that car. Mm. So you can't shoot forwards. And as you get going, a car could come the other way. Mm, true. So you get going and suddenly there's a car coming the other way. Don't do this. This is what I learned, this is what a lot of learners do. They steer to the left, try and go back towards the curb. Now it's just going to be really hard to go around that car when you want to go around that car. Yeah. Still aim for the space next to the car, still go towards the other side of the road, but then stop and wait. Okay. But you want your aim good so that when you can get going after the oncoming car is finished coming, you're already set, you can do a handbrake start again or heel hold assist to move. So you ready? Yeah. Let's hope there's an oncoming car, just as you get going. I don't want an oncoming car. I want an oncoming car. I don't. It'd be good practice. No, no thanks. We'll do it next lesson. So you need my help or? No. No? You're going to do the handbrake start on your own? Yeah. Go on in. No. Okay, right, gear. No, try, absolutely. I was gonna say. I'll, I'll, I will, I'll tell you if I think you're missing anything. Okay. Get my revs. Mm-hmm. No one's coming. Get my bite point. Yeah. No one's coming. And now, I go. You're really good at this. Excellent. And there was no oncoming car. Now we've got to be ready to wait before the next car. So centre left mirror, just bring it back to our half of the road. Don't push the clutch down, bring it up all the way off the clutch, please. As the car will slow down. I felt it slow down there as you push the clutch in a bit. Do we need to wait? Oh yes, so clutch down. Gas and lift the clutch now, so it doesn't roll back. And now check your mirrors and carry on. So you see how just pausing briefly like that can help. A bit close to that parked car, steer more. Steer more to go around it properly. Um, don't go really close to them. 
But you see how pausing like that can help just briefly. Yeah. So you don't have to do a heel, whole heel, um, whole handbrake start again. You did, yeah, I know, I'm struggling today, aren't I? You did roll back a little bit, mm. but with practice, you'll cut that out. Yeah. That's it. That's better. Next road right. Good, a bit further from the curb. I might just push you away, getting a bit close to those pedestrians there. Now start braking and try and keep it in your half of the road this time. We're not taking this road on the left. Let's not steer in there. Hello. Into second gear. Keep an eye on where you need to wait, the middle of the road you're turning into in case someone comes the other way. Okay, looks like you'll be able to go, doesn't it? So look into that road and do your steer. Go on, that's it. And so slowly start to straighten with your hands. Very good. I think the input of the steering is probably a bit harsh, but the straightening was very nice. It worked. It did work, a little, little bit jolty. Might want to add it a bit more smoothly. So we're going to try and stop before that car again, mm. near the lamppost. So there's a car behind, isn't there? Yeah. So tell them you want to pull over. Keep the gas on, it's slowing down too early, isn't it? A bit of power to help it along. Cover the clutch. When your clutch goes down, this car's going to stop very quickly. So now clutch down, see? Yeah. And then you can brake to stop. So you see how much quicker it stops uphill? Mm. And I think you did need a bit more gas as you were getting here because the car was struggling. Did you hear it going? <laughs> That's telling you, I need more air. So just don't be afraid. Press the power a little bit. It's not going to go flying up the road. It'll just stop it from struggling. Okay. So what we're going to do this time is a method I don't really recommend. Okay. Doesn't work in all cars. Okay. Um, a lot of people do use it. I use it sometimes myself. Uh, it's not a bad method. But it's, a, it's bad if it's the only method you know. Oh, okay. And that is when you're on the foot brake to lift the clutch to the bite point so the car doesn't roll back and then come off the brake to move forwards. And what's going to happen, because you really do need power to move, up, to move away on this hill, what's going to happen is the car's computer is going to recognise this load and it's going to increase gas for you. Oh, okay. And all cars are going to do that, and all cars do that at a different level. Mm -hmm. If you tried to do this in my other car at home, you will stall. Right. But why are you teaching me this now? I, just, I like my uh, everything else. Just so you know, I think it's important you know okay. these different things. Okay. So, get the clutch down, and it might stall. And if it does stall, it'll be a good lesson. I don't like it when it stalls, though. Hi. I don't know. I feel like the car's going to explode. Nah, it's fine. It's, this car is stalled more times than I can't think of a good one <laughs> something that happens often the sun comes up more more times than full moons in my life probably it's, yeah well, maybe not that many times it probably has actually it's, it's stalled several thousand times I'm sure in its life there you go, yeah, it's been it. used for nearly 10 years as a learner car now it's done like 19,000 hours of use well look at the um, mileage oh, you can't see it right now but the mileage is really yeah. high 202. See? Anyway, so foot on the brake. Off on the brake. Yeah. So you're, you're not getting away. You try, I know what you're like. You try to delay, don't you? Like, start talking to me so no. you don't have to do these things. First gear. I know you like talking, so I just abuse that. And then handbrake off. Now, I'm also going to show you how the heel hold assist works. Okay. We will roll back. It's safe to. Come off the brake. And it holds it for two seconds. And then let's go. Oh, yeah. See? This time when you come off the brake, press the gas and you'll see it rolls back straight away. Safe to do it, you can do it. Just press the gas straight away. See? So you see what I mean now when I say it holds it for two seconds or if you press the gas. Yeah, that's so cool. But if you're at the bike point, you're not pressing the gas. So when you come off the brake, it's still gonna try and keep the car still for two seconds, even though you're telling the car to move with the bike point until you press the gas. So press the gas and that'll cut the brakes out and we'll get going. Okay. So, lift the clutch of the bike point as no one's coming. There you go. Blind spot. All good. Clutch back down again. Sounds coming. Clutch down. You don't want to wait on the bike point. If it changes, we'll just wait for the next one. Okay, back to the bike point again. Blind spot. Off the All foot good. brake now. And now gas. And it did work, didn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. It does work. Did you feel the car? Did you feel it vibrating? Yeah. And struggling? Doesn't want to do that. That's, that Doesn't shouldn't like be the case. So check your mirrors, come back to the left. There's no point. You can't see off the gas, off the gas, you can't see. Now you can see, now you can go. A bit of gas, you'll make it before the next car and then mirrors to come back. 
No, because it's the brow of the hill you see. Back to your half, give them space, help them out. Because you can't see, you need to be ready to give way until you get closer to the car. Mm. You can't commit early when you can't see. Slow down, get closer, and then when you can see, go. Or if you're at the car and you still can't see, go through carefully. Mm. So you felt the car was struggling there, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And I've been in the car with many people who have learnt to drive who think that's normal. It's not normal. When you move away, the car should not be vibrating and, well, struggling. Yeah. Revs aren't struggle. Rev the engine. That's not struggle. Give it some welly. There we go. That's not the engine struggling. Struggling is when the revs are low and the car's vibrating and the revs are below uh, 1,000 revs. That's not what you want. Add some power and that should help when you go up a hill. It's why it's important to learn not only the method of brake and lift clutch up to move away, but how to use the gas, the handbrake start and hill hold assist as well if you have it. Do you have any questions about these hill starts? No, they're quite all right. Do you understand why I wanted you to slow down and wait when we were approaching that parked car on the brow of the hill and not commit too early? Yeah, because I couldn't see if someone was like speeding at me. Exactly, you need to be ready to give way. Sometimes, even when you get to the car, you still can't see. There will be occasions like that. Plenty of occasions when you're driving where you just can't see, even if you're slow. Then you just go through slowly and carefully. That's all you can do. Okay. I think we should end the video there. Yeah. I think I'm missing anything out. I'm gonna think, I probably will find something when I'm editing it, but yeah. that's the hill lesson for today. If you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking for car insurance, check out the links to Collingwood and Confused in the description. If you're learning to drive and want to insure yourself on somebody else's car, then Collingwood are there for you because you can do so without affecting the owner's policy. And that takes away a big stress from the owner of that car. Via the link at the moment, there's up to 35% off and a £20 Amazon gift card. If you want to insure your own car, check out the link to confuse.com because you fill out one quote form and get loads of quotes back from many insurers, compare who's cheapest, and you can change your car on that quote as many times as you like without having to do the whole quote again. Just change the car so that you compare, compare how much it costs to insure different cars. Using the links doesn't cost you anything, but it does support the channel. So thank you very much. Subscribe to get my future videos. And until the next one, cheerio.